This is the Douglas DC-3. It is an airplane that revolutionized air travel in the 1930s and became one of the most significant aircraft in our history. In beautiful all-metal construction, powerful twin engines, and retractable main landing gear. When she went into airline service in 1936, these features were not really all that new, but the ability to combine them with 21 passengers was new. The DC-3 was the most profitable airline in the world during the 1930s and 1940s. Her lineage began with the DC-1, a 12-passenger aircraft of which only one was ever built. Next came the DC-2. With 14 passengers, the aircraft now began to gain popularity with the airlines. Later, at the request of American Airlines, the aircraft was enlarged again to include a longer and wider cabin with sleeping berths for 14 passengers. This version was called the Douglas Sleeper Transport, or DST. It soon became apparent that the larger cabin could also accommodate 21 seated passengers, and in 1936, it was this model called the DC-3 that transformed the airline industry. The 21 passenger configuration was sufficient for the airlines to actually generate a profit by carrying passengers. The airlines no longer had to depend on government mail contracts for their revenue. Though the airline still carried the mail, it was the passenger carrying capacity that made the DC-3 so valuable. Another key feature in the aircraft's success was the fact that it was rugged, dependable, and safe to include the ability to fly easily on just one engine. Just two years after its entry into service, 95% of the U.S. airlines and 90% of the world's airlines were flying the DC-3. The DC-3 included several variants. But perhaps the most important in history was its military version, the C-47 Skytrain. With its large cargo door and reinforced steel flooring, the, quote, Goonie Bird, unquote, as she was often called, carried troops, artillery pieces, vehicles, or whatever else they could cram into her. The C-47 often carried loads well above her specified limits, took off and landed in areas that were not feasible for most cargo aircraft, and flew over the Sahara Desert, the Himalayan Mountains, and miles of endless ocean to deliver her precious cargo and personnel. Following World War II, the C-47 also played a critical role providing food and supplies during the Berlin Airlift. There were over 10,000 C-47s built during World War II, many of which were converted back to civilian air carrier use after the war. During the post-war years, larger, more powerful engines were added to increase its speed and altitude performance. Today, 80 years later, there are still hundreds of DC-3s carrying passengers and cargo throughout the world. However, most have now retired, with some DC-3s and C-47s on display in museums around the world to include the Evergreen Aviation and Space Museum. If there ever was a, quote, thoroughbred, unquote, in the aviation world, it was the Douglas DC-3.